Hi there. Recently, we at K21 Academy had a webinar on getting started with create, manage and migrate Oracle EBS R12 on cloud with Oracle Ace and author Atul Kumar. Post webinar, we got a lot of requests to share again about what's going to be covered in training and practicals on Oracle public cloud servers. So here, I am glad to share with you what Atul covered during the webinar related to what things you should learn or what tasks you must perform when learning Oracle EVS R12 on cloud to stay ahead in your career and earn more. So let's hear out what Atul said. So let me explain what these modules are or 13 modules are. So module one covers overview and concepts of cloud. We begin with cloud benefits, concepts like SaaS, PaaS, IaaS. We go deep dive on what we went today. We look at various deployment models. We also look at cloud history and different cloud vendors and their plus and negatives of or what they are good and not so good at. Then module two is about cloud offering where we cover Oracle's cloud offering in all three software as a service, infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. You should focus more on platform as a service. Now, Oracle recently also introduced Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or earlier bare metal cloud. So we'll be updating our material with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as well. Then module three is about EBS R12 on cloud architecture. We'll go deep dive on what we covered today from here on in terms of how do you handle your developer tools? How does developers are going to develop application? How are they going to deploy the code? What are the various options to deploy? How do you connect and a lot of other architecture in terms of DR and HA and other architecture of EBS R12 on cloud. Then module four is about where we begin hands-on. We create account, we log into the cloud account, generate SSH keys, and all these are in a step-by-step -step guide with including videos. Then module five is about, there are two ways I said earlier to create cloud account. And as new methods come, we'll keep updating and you get all free for unlimited time or for lifelong. The support is going to be for next three years, which I'll cover in a minute. So in module five, you create EBS R12, but use cloud template, ready-made templates. Then next module six is about EBS cloud admin tool. And this is where again, another module, important module, which you should focus on. You also do hands-on and create or deploy EBS cloud admin tool on Oracle cloud. Then module seven is about how do you create EBS environment earlier you created using template from marketplace and this time you create using EBS cloud admin tool. Now this is a tool you should use or my recommendation is to do both but focus more on EBS cloud admin tool. You will also learn how to get OTD, Oracle traffic director, application tier, database tier and also what happens behind the scene. Then in module eight we are going to look at migration or lift and shift. As I said, this is where the big money is. You literally be migrating an environment from an on-premise to the cloud. What all implications are, what all things you need to worry about, what things you need to take care of, or what happens after the migration, what things you need to consider after migration. Then module nine is about application tier, high availability or scalability. How do you add additional loads? How do you troubleshoot and monitor these deployment applications? Module 10 is about cloning. How do you clone from cloud to cloud? You, if you're an apps TV, you might be familiar with clone, but if you're not, we are going to cover, explain or touch base on what is cl clone is high level. And then you clone that environment. Then 11 is creating and standby or disaster recovery. I know it's a lot, but that's what makes an expert an expert. That's what makes you get higher money. That's what makes you or keep you up, stay ahead and make you different or set you apart from other apps, TBAs or an architects. Then module 12 is about security, where we look at users, roles, network, firewalls. How do you open access? How do you close access connections and everything? Then module 13 is a bonus where you look at REST APIs and how can you automate some of the tasks using REST APIs. Now, everything for me is a hands-on. I'm a hands-on person. I learn a lot by doing hands-on. So there's a step-by-step -step activity guide. Now, as of now, as we speak, there are two activity guides are outstanding. And hopefully by the time we finish or we start the course and the course 
finishes those activity guides should be available anyway but most of these activity guides are already av available so what do you do your activity guide one is about how do you register for oracle cloud how do you generate ssh keys and connect and by the way what we noticed is that cloud changes frequently so if any change happens we update so you are the first ones to know about how to connect if any things have changed then activity guide two is about install and configure r12 on the cloud using cloud marketplace if you see it's a 45 page guide with step-by-step -step instructions including how do you reconfigure the web entry point how do you open web ports if you want to open ebs on the internet or you limit it from a selective ips and so on activity guide 3 is about how to install and configure cloud admin tool what is the cloud admin tool how do you update the latest version of ebs cloud admin tool and so on activity guide 4 is about installing and managing ebs r12 using cloud admin tool that we discussed earlier so in previous step you install the cloud admin tool in this activity guide you actually create ebs a three node environment with database application tier and web tier then this is as i said is the most important critical in my view or i've spent a lot of time me and amit on lift and shift so you how do you using step by step guide on migrating your ebs environment to the cloud then high availability this is the guide which we are working but all the previous guides are already so how do you add scale up or add a, another node to ebs environment on the cloud then how do you clone it or disaster recovery how do you set up a disaster recovery from on premise where dr is on the cloud and then security in the cloud how do you create cloud account roles or assign them the necessary roles and firewall how do you configure firewall then there's another bonus module about rest api how do you create some backup folders or a storage using rest api and you can go in deep on automating these things using rest apis thank you atul for this useful information and with that we can say that it's a very comprehensive course where it's not just about the theory that you will learn but you will be doing the practicals as well so if you are ready to upgrade your skills to stay competitive in market to stay ahead of others and earn more then go and register yourself for the course at http k21academy.com forward slash ebs cloud 03 you can see the link on my screen as well and if you want to have a more detailed look for the lab activity guides go to http k21academy.com forward slash ebs cloud 05 I repeat the link, it's http k21academy.com forward slash ebs cloud 05. And to register yourself once again, you can see the link on my screen, it's http k21academy.com forward slash ebs cloud 03. So looking forward to see you in the live sessions, have a great time ahead.